Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Michelle Guapo, man. Street Certified News. We back with another one. Man, first off, man, um, wanted to shout out everybody that's been rocking with us with this story. Um, you know, some paperwork had, been, had got released a few days ago. And, you know, I had people in the comments hitting me like, man, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you release the paperwork? I was trying to tell people that certain documents if the feds don't like officially release it they do not want it to get released and when you do shit like that man you know you can get your video took down you can get your channel took down so shout out dude in the comments man who was like hey turn your hustle up let's drop some more videos you know what i'm saying we listen to you um we've been working on this cooperator 2 video for a few weeks now like i said i actually put it to the side and gave y'all the butter video but um man we've been working on this video um i want to make sure that you know so far man every time we've dropped a story you know the whole internet have basically come right behind us and told the same story and i want to kind of keep that trend going not only are we trying to bring y'all the most accurate information in our videos but i'm really trying to get y'all the story before everybody else you know, it's a lot of channels that basically give y'all daily rundowns of everything that's going on, man. Shout out my boy Truth Teller. Uh, shout out to Dude 16. Shout him. But, you know, on our channel, man, we almost want to take a little bit more time so that when we do drop, man, we drop it. You know what I'm saying? So, we definitely wanted to give you guys the rundown of, you know, this O-Block member who is is objectively, he, co he cooperated um, you know, we're not guessing on that. We're not using rumor for that. He did cooperate. And later on in the video, we are going to uh, actually play you guys the audio so that you can hear what we're talking about. Let's get into it, man. Cooperated to Oblock Rico slash FBG Doug murder case, man. On August 25th, 2023, pages of Marcus Smart, a.k.a. Muop's latest court filing leaked to the Internet. Rumors spread that Muop's own team filed the motion without asking for a seal, seemingly releasing the documents to the public for only a few hours. Within the document, there were four witnesses' initials used when prosecutors attempted to file a motion to suppress their true identity. Witness MW and RW being seen in black and white confirmed our earlier stories on Cooperator One, aka Martel Wiley, and Cooperator 3, a.k.a. Rakeem Wilton, while the other two initials didn't initially jump off the page. Later in the document, the government gives further clarification on witnesses TH and TG. Witness TG would turn out to be the former Oblock security guard who identified Muwap running to his vehicle the day FBG Duck was gunned down. And interestingly, Witness TH would turn out to be the former girlfriend of Carlos Alford and the mother of one of his children. The rumor is that Muop's legal team filed the motion on purpose, basically in open court, without asking for a seal first, without really doing much um, due diligence in terms of communicating with the prosecution or the judge. Some people believe that, you know, this was Muop attempting to out the witnesses um, against him because basically those four witnesses that were in the paperwork were all directly witnesses against Muop. Uh, that paperwork that came out was Muab's case and like I said the earlier paperwork was Ligon's case see murder um, that was his proffer so now we've basically seen Muab's proffer and we've seen see murder's proffer when I saw the documents like I saw the RW I saw the MW you know for me that was like I already knew what that was but I was kind of a little surprised about the other two initials um, like I said TG Witness TG would basically end up being the security guard. Uh, that made sense why they would want to, you know, seal his identity and not, you know, share who he is to the public. But then the other witness, TH, you know, turned out to be the dude um, to Carlos Offords, basically his baby mama. So that was a little odd for me when I saw that only because, um, like I said, this is paperwork directly implicating Muwap in the murder of FBG Duck as well as in the Rico. So I would I would have thought that because to Carlos is basically kind of co-defendants with Muwap, you know, his baby mother for her to testify against Muwap and for her to get her name sealed and for 
that was kind of weird considering that you know that's the co-defendant of your baby daddy it kind of gave me a little you know what i'm saying kind of gave me a little like hold on we got to check this out you feel me so that was one of the first things when i saw that document that was that was like crazy to me it was like whoa okay one of the you know one of the defendants his baby mama man is actually the star witness on one of the other defendants paperwork so that that was a little odd when i saw that named the witness six in the c murder proffer los's child's mother was the woman who allegedly met los and muap at the car dealership only hours after the shooting death of fbg duck Within the newly leaked docs, it stated that TH identified Marcus Smart as someone she met that day. It is also stated in the documents that the FBI conducted a formal interview with TH, in which they showed the witness video recordings of the day of the murder in an attempt to get positive identifications of Muop en route to the crime scene. It would seem that TH cooperated with officials after she was shown a video of her picking up three men at a car dealership exiting her significant other's vehicle. It would also come out soon after his arrest that to Carlos offered himself, also offered information to the feds on the O-Block gang. To elaborate further, a court appearance audio recording of to Carlos during an over the phone court hearing was released in late 2022. In the recording, the government acknowledges Los made statements in his original arresting interview. Suspiciously, the U.S. attorney admits in court that to Carlos provided information on not only himself, but others, including his child's mother, Marcus Smart, and his cousin, who is alleged to be the shooter who hopped out of the car with Muwa. United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois is now in session. The Honorable M. David Weissman presiding. Please be seated and come to order. Case number 21-CR-618, USA versus to Carlos Offered, detention. Good afternoon for the United States. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Jason Julian, Albert Berry III, and Anne-Marie Ursini for the United States. Good afternoon to all of you uh, for Mr. Alfred. Good afternoon, Your Honor. John Somerville, S-O-M-E-R-V-I-L-L-E -L -L -E for Mr. Alfred. Good afternoon, Mr. Somerville. Mr. Alfred, are you on the line, sir? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. We're scheduled for a detention hearing. The government may proceed. So, continuing on with the strength of the evidence, Mr. Alford acknowledged that there were still shots from a video that was taken. Uh, there was video that's relevant to the defense of charge on August 4th, uh, and before the murder, after the murder, during the murder. Before the murder, Mr. Alford acknowledged again that it was him in those standing next to the vehicle that was used in the murder. I'm proffering now. After this video was released over a year ago, there were whispers of Los possibly cooperating. And after the Ligon's proffer was made public, there could be no doubt that to Carlos Alford provided information that helped the feds indict him and others. Most notably, Marcus Smart, a.k.a. Muop. The statements he is alleged to have made mirror extremely close to those admitted statements of Cooperator 2. And even more interesting is the admission that the feds make on how they were able to obtain certain information vital to their case. In the Ligon's proffer, the federal government outlines a number of cases that set precedent on how they can collect information to prove their RICO. By citing these types of cases, the government admits that they were able to collect vital information to the RICO due to these circumstances, including a defendant's own statements. If you look at the Ligon's paperwork, half of the proffer is actually like cited court uh, cases. Um, when a lawyer or the government, when they cite court cases, what they're doing is they're kind of preemptively striking any objection that you would have within their full case so if you look at the ligands document most of the cited cases have to do with defendants offering information on themselves or other co-conspirators without their own knowledge um meaning that a dude like los when he was arrested if he talks about the gang 
they can use that to prove the gang exists. Even if he may think, you know, I'm answering questions about a murder. So when they ask me questions about the gang, I'm, you know, he doesn't connect. He may not connect the dots that the information that he's providing will not only be used in the murder case, but it could be used in superseding indictments to show Rico. In searching for Cooperator 2, we ran into a number of obstacles, including the government's overly vague description. This made pointing out Cooperator 2 difficult because although we did not want to put snitch labels on a man currently fighting for his freedom, we also felt obligated to speak on the to Carlos offer connection between his statements, his child's mother, and Muop, who seemed to be the target of all of the feds questioning. In an attempt to keep his child's mother from also being prosecuted, to Carlos offer gave the feds a formal interview, answered questions, and even allowed his child's mother to become one of the star witnesses against Muop. Considering that identifying Marcus Smart would also mean she would have to identify her child's father. The only rational scenario is that Los allowed his child's mother to cooperate to avoid prosecution. And as a result, Los also cooperated and at the least agreed with the government's assertions about the game. So we want to be clear, man. We're not really debating whether Los, you know, whether he knew exactly how his information was going to be used um we are simply pointing out that you know up until today it has not been reported that one of the old block six members made a statement on um, there's audio recording of the u.s government admitting that he made statements not only against him but they say others um the u.s attorney later admitted in open court um, that Los provided information that would turn out to be extremely similar to the information provided by Cooperator 2 in Ligon's paperwork. They both seem to identify Marcus Smart numerous times using both video and uh, picture footage provided by the feds. Um, they both would have intimate knowledge of the O Block gang and its inner workings. They both would have been, you know, youngins during that Wick City time. And they both were similar were witnesses to similar events to witness six, who is TH, who we know at this point is, you know, the child's mother of to Carlos offer and the prosecution attempted to have her name hidden from the record so that people would not know that, hey, man, this dude Lowe's baby mama is one of the witnesses. But when dissecting these cases, man, you have to use, sometimes you got to use the duct of logic. Um, throughout, like, basically the last three weeks, man, we have tediously and painstakingly went through every active O-Block member, whether their age matched up or not. We went through every single member. And at this point, there is only one person who cannot be excluded as cooperator to. And that's the boy to Carlos Offert. AKA Los Money. Man, we really appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. Man, it's your boy Michelle Guapo. Street certified news, man. We out. What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. What's your boy L Hitter, Mr. Oh yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. You already know the vibes. We actually in the building. Street certified. Street outside the gym. Yeah, Street Certified News, man. Street certified news, Shout out man. Big Bo. Shout out Walker. Street Certified, man. They double blocks, man. Double blocks, man.